A question I get asked a lot on my channel is when are you getting a dog and what kind of dog you're gonna get? When are you getting a pet? And while I may not be able to answer that question right now, hopefully soon, I don't know when soon is, but I do want one someday. Um, I thought it'd be fun to take some quizzes online and see what type of dog breed I should get. And I'm curious to see what it's gonna say. So my, the dog breed that I've always wanted, like my dream dog breed would be a beagle. I just think they're so cute. And I actually had the opportunity to meet a beagle recently. And I don't know, they're just amazing and they're so cute. But I'm interested in seeing what the online quizzes think that I should get and maybe open up my mind to other opportunities. So let's take some quizzes. Of course, we're gonna start off with the classic BuzzFeed quiz. This one is called, what breed of dog should you adopt? So um, let's just hop into it. What breed of dog should you adopt? First off, how would your friends describe you? We have funny, loyal, dramatic, loud, empathetic, or creative? Ooh, I don't know. <laughs> um, uh, probably creative. What do you like to do for fun? We have cozy up with a good book, play sports, cook, hike, play music, or draw. Definitely hike. That's my number one. I actually wanted to be summer so bad right now. I'm just, was, I'm just missing the warm weather and going on hikes and adventuring and stuff, so. Okay, the next one is, what are your pet peeves? Pun intended, oh man. So this is chewing with mouth open, mouth breathers, ugh, snoring, interrupting, loud noises, or invasions of personal space. Oh my gosh, I don't like any of these. <laughs> um, oh, this is so hard. Well, if I'm in the same room as someone who is snoring, definitely snoring because I can't sleep. So I'm gonna choose that one. Okay, which toy would you get your new pupper? We have like this classic dog bone, a spiky ball, pizza, uh, like an orange ball, and then this like uh, red thing you put treats inside, and then a rope. I'm gonna say probably the rope because it's so much fun playing with my family's dogs, Logan and Atlas. They have a rope kind of, not like this exactly, but same idea. And it's so fun playing tug of war with them. Okay, so now I'll pick a dog tail. This <laughs> is very interesting. I've never, <laughs> never had this been asked before. Okay, so we have tiny little, tiny little tail. We got long tail, we got Short tail, short tail, nub, curly. What? I'm gonna say long tail. I like long tails, so top right. And lastly, where would you take your dog to play? The beach, a park, a dog run, a lakefront, a hiking trail, or a dog park? Probably a hiking trail. Oh, interesting. The dog breed that I got was a golden retriever. It says you should adopt a golden retriever. They're loyal, obedient, and kind-hearted, so they'll never stop trying to make you as happy as possible. Oh my goodness. My um, one of my best friends has a golden retriever and it is so fluffy. I never thought that I would be like a big dog person though. I think I'm more of like a medium to small kind of dog breed person. Not like super duper small. Logan and Atlas's size. Okay, now we're moving on to a more professional quiz. The BuzzFeed quiz was kind of silly. And this one is by the American Kennel Club. And this is find the best dog breed for you. How trainable do you want your dog to be? So some dog breeds just want to make their owner proud, while others prefer to do what they want and when they want, whenever they want. So we either have highly trainable, easily trainable, trainable, less easily easily trained, maybe stubborn, no preference. I've never really thought about this before. I think I definitely want a trainable dog. Uh, I don't really know like the rankings of it, so I'm gonna say easily trainable. Okay, how energetic would you want your dog to be? Okay, well I do like, I want a dog that's at least a little bit energetic so that we can go like on hikes and adventures and stuff and explore, 
but I am also at home a lot too, like filming videos and just getting everything done that I need to in my personal life. So I'm not always out and about doing something active. So I definitely want a dog that's kind of right in the middle of between those two. So we have very high energy, which is between 60 to 120 minutes of exercise every day, energetic, 60 to 90, moderate, 30 to 60, low energy, 30 to 45 minutes, calm, 20 to 30, or no preference. Ooh, I don't know. Um, <laughs> I don't know. I'm gonna say moderate energy. How much coat shedding can you deal with? Ooh, okay. High shedding dog breeds will need to be brushed regularly, may trigger certain types of allergies. This is very important for me because I think I am allergic to specific dog breeds. I don't know which kinds, but I think the more they shed, the more allergic I am to them. And it says, and will definitely result in a regular schedule of vacuuming or sweeping your floor to manage the floof. I really love floofy dogs though, like soft big floofy dogs oh, are so cute. But yeah, I don't know if my allergies can handle the cuteness. <laughs> So I'm gonna have to say I prefer only on occasion. Like I don't really care super much about shedding, but I like prefer not to. Um, so yeah, that's what I'm gonna do. How frequently can you care for your dog's grooming needs? So we have monthly, twice a month, every week, two to three times a week, every day, or no preference. Um, I mean, I could definitely like brush my dog every day. Like I guess all these things would depend on the breed. I'm gonna say that I could do it two to three times a week. How much barking or other vocalizations are you okay with? I definitely would want a dog that's quiet most of the time. And so it's Spencer. Spencer doesn't really like barky dogs. So the quieter the dog, the better for us. What size of dog do you want? From extra small to extra large and all sizes in between, there's an ideal fit for every dog loving household. Big size doesn't always equal big energy, so some large breeds can live just about anywhere. Interesting. Okay, so we have extra large all the way down to extra small. I'm gonna go with, uh, I don't know if I like small or medium. I have to have like, I wish these included pictures so I can like reference the scale. I'm gonna say a medium dog. Okay, and then more about you. These last questions are required because they will help us learn more about you and how your daily routine will be a good match for your future best friend. As an adult, have you ever owned a dog? I personally have never owned my own dog, but I grew up with a dog and I am around dogs a lot. So I don't know how to answer this one. Uh, I'll say, I'll say yes. Or should I say no? I don't know, I'm, I'm gonna say yes just because I kind of know like what it takes to have a dog, like I have that experience. Maybe not fully, because I don't have sole ownership over a dog, but I'll just put, oh, I'll just put yes. Do you have any children in your home? No, do you have any other animals at home? Um, well, before I get a dog, I'll probably get another bearded dragon. So I'm just thinking of the future at this point, and I'm gonna say, Yes, so I'll say small mammals. <laughs> um, what's your apartment like? Right now it's an apartment. I'm thinking that I would want to get a dog and a house, but I'll just say apartment for now. How much time will you spend with the dog each day? This can just be an estimate. So I could, if I'm like work, I, I'm honestly like all day really. Like if I'm going somewhere, if it's like my family's house, I'm gonna bring the dog with me. So I'm gonna say like more than 10 hours. What's your activity level, level, adventure lover, walks around the neighborhood, hang out on the couch? Well, this varies so much for me because like during the summer, definitely adventure lover. During the winter, more hanging out on the couch. So I'm gonna go walks around the neighborhood right in between. And do you want a low allergen dog? Yes. All right, let's see our results. I'm so excited. <gasps> oh my gosh, this looks just like Logan. That's so crazy. So it gave me the American Water Spaniel, which are charming, eager, and happy. So Logan, I think, is an American Cocker Spaniel. So like, they're like probably cousins, essentially. <gasps> that, and you can click find puppies, and then it'll show you like nearby where you can find the American Water Spaniel. Top two was the American Hairless Terrier. <laughs> I didn't even know this was a thing. Well, this also had a 71% match. So it was about the same as 
the other one. Whoa, okay. Top three, wait, still 71%? I'm so confused. The top three is a Shiperky? I've never heard of this one. Okay. Top four was the Pyrenean Mastiff. Whoa, this is a big doggy. And then fifth place was the Kishon. Wow, there are so many dog breeds out there that I've never heard of. All right, I went on to a different website called Eams, I-A-M-S. I've never heard of this, but uh, this is the dog breed selector. So here we go. It says, where will your new dog live? Okay, well, this is the problem that I'm running into again. I'm gonna click house this time because I'm more likely to get a dog when I have a house than I am to get one while I'm still living in my current apartment. How much space will he have to play? I don't know. <laughs> I don't know because I don't have a house. How much space will he have to play? I'm just gonna think of my dream house. Well, my dream house would probably have a lot of land, so. I'll say, it's probably between small yard and average yard. I'll probably say average yard. I don't know how big that is. Average yard. Will you have any kids to snuggle with? No, I don't have kids, I'm not playing on it. No, I don't have kids yet. Yes, I'll have kids under 12 and where I have kids over 12. Well, I'll click no, I don't have kids yet. Have you owned a dog before? Yes, I'm an experienced dog owner or this will be my first dog. Okay, well, this quiz, I'll put, this will be my first dog because it is like my first dog, so. Will he have other roommates, other pets? Um, only a bearded dragon. So I guess other small animals. Which best describes your future pet's personality? Tip if you live in an apartment, opt for a friendlier dog. So we have highly protective, moderately protective, fairly friendly with strangers or loves everyone. Probably loves everyone, but I also want it to be protective. Oh, I don't know. I'll just say, should I do fairly friendly with strangers? I'll put fairly friendly with strangers. Okay, in terms of barking, how much noise can you tolerate? Um, I'm gonna say I prefer a dog who doesn't bark much. How much will your dog be able to play with you? We have only indoor playtime, a short walk or backyard play, occasional long walks or daily walks and jogs. Um, I'll say a short walk or backyard play for now. How much time will your new dog be spending alone? We have I or someone else will be home most of the time, about four hours at a time just until I get home from work, or my dog should be fine by himself for at least eight hours. I'll say we'll be home most of the time because we most likely will be, or it will be with me. How much training will your new dog receive? I'll say probably basic obedience. How big or small will your new dog be? Oh, it comes in pounds now. Uh, I'll say probably 30 to 50 pounds. How much time can you dedicate to your new dog's grooming? I'll say every so often. How important is having a dog that doesn't shed much? I prefer a dog with minimal shedding, a little shedding is okay, or not important. I'll say minimal. Choose the qualities of your ideal dog in order of importance. Click your preferred qualities in order from most important to least. Okay, so. Most important, okay, so we have friendliness, barking, exercise, independence, trainability, size, and grooming. I'll say probably barking number one. Um, and then, ooh, size number two, friendliness number three, um, trainability number four, grooming number five, exercise, and then independence. Okay, let's see our results. What are we gonna get? Oh, this is a big doggo. So 76% match with a Bernese Mountain Dog. Meet your new friend. Gentle, quiet, and very devoted, the Bernese Mountain Dog is a highly trainable and willing dog that is good with children. He is loyal, affectionate, and a great watchdog without being overly aggressive. He is never sharp or shy, but when training him, you should be gentle as he is a little sensitive. This dog might be slow to mature, remaining puppy-like for quite a while, but he loves to be around people and is a friend for life. Oh my gosh, this like checks off every box besides like the size. Okay, so here are other close matches. We have the Bendleton Terrier. <laughs> this dog <laughs> looks a little funny with like the random floofs on it. I've never heard of that dog. Okay, then we have the soft-coated Wheaton Terrier. Lots of Terriers. 
the Cavalier King Charles Spaniel. 63% with the Petite Basset Griffon Vendine. 68 with the Bendleton Terrier. Oh wait, there we go. So those were the more close matches. Wow, I'm learning so much from this these quizzes. All right, we're ending this with a full circle with BuzzFeed once again. And the quiz is what kind of dog are you? So now that we know what kind of dog that I should get, what kind of spirit animal dog am I? <laughs> I just thought this would be funny. I'm curious to see what the answer is. So anyways, first question is, it's a Friday night. What are your plans? We have party time, a quick nightcap, sitting at home, another okay Cupid date, Netflix binge, clubbing, dinner with your fab friends, snoozing, or a hot photo shoot. <laughs> what in the world? Um, uh, probably, honestly, sitting at home. How would you describe your body? Small, athletic, tall, very thin, jersey, Jersey Shores, Poly D, I don't know what these things are. Okay, thick, <laughs> muscular, perfect, short and curvy. I literally never think about this. I would just describe myself short and small. <laughs> like, I don't know, I'm 5'2". Um, uh, I'm just like, I never think about this. Please pick a color. My favorite color is red, so that one's easy. What would the name of your memoir be? Just friends, a love story, eat, love, and eat more. Running in circles. I'm not saying the other one. <laughs> How I learned to love myself. Life of a misunderstood hero. Who, me, don't mind if I do, or growing without roots. Uh, I, I like the eat, love, and eat more. What's your go-to dance move? The shimmy, twerking, judging everyone from the corner, the robot, the cha-cha slide, the shopping cart, aggressive voguing? Grindy, all about the fist pump. I'm gonna say the shopping cart. What a classic. Pick an author. Nicholas Sparks, Toni Morrison, Amira. I don't even know authors. I don't know. I'm gonna say the internet. Which pop star do you identify with? Beyonce, Cher, Taylor Swift, Robin, Rihanna, Britney Spears, can't choose one. Lord or Selena Gomez. I, I don't know. I don't keep up with the pop stars. My favorite pop star when I was younger though was Selena Gomez. So I'll just say Selena Gomez. Channeling my inner younger Audrey, I guess. What is your biggest pet peeve? We have taking food off my plate, chatterboxes, pretentious people, pimple poppers, <laughs> the patriarchy, being a meanie, chipped nail polish, judgmental people, or having pet peeves. What? These, these ones are so weird. Um... I don't know. Uh, I'll say pretentious people. Finally, how would friends describe you? Artistic, larger than life, introverted, adorable, needy, comforting, funny, loyal, or high maintenance? Um, uh, probably introverted. <laughs> okay, I got the Shiba Inu. You sometimes get accused of being aloof, but you're just picky. You're an introvert, but that doesn't mean you don't love socializing with your core group of friends and family. Plus, you can be very affectionate, just on your own terms. <laughs> Interesting, I got the curly tail dog. Okay guys, that's where we're gonna end the video today. I have learned lots in this video of things that I should be looking for when I start looking to adopt a dog. Um, let me know if you end up taking any of these quizzes, what type of dog breed that you get. And yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you want me to take any more future quizzes, let me know the topics you want me to search next time. But give this video a thumbs up, subscribe if you were new, and we'll see y'all next time.